DIY sunscreens like this are not a good idea. Even if you mix in the same amount of zinc oxide as a store-bought sunscreen, the sun protection you get isn't just about the percentage of zinc oxide, but also how it's distributed in the sunscreen and how that applies on your skin. Even with 20% of the right type of zinc oxide mixed with industrial equipment that can make the zinc oxide spread out in the product evenly, sunscreen formulators still get low SPF sometimes because the base isn't keeping the zinc oxide spread out when you apply it on your skin. This clumping issue is even worse with uncoated zinc oxide, which is the type that most DIY recipes use. Synthetic coatings are usually used in proper zinc oxide sunscreens to keep it spread out a lot more evenly. So if professional sunscreen formulators can't do it consistently with all of this extra help, the chance of you getting it right consistently in your kitchen without any of this is not great.